I just want people to know that they don't have to drink or use drugs anymore. I had a conversation with someone earlier today who said that she was celebrating 50 years of, of sobriety and she said the, the most important thing I learned is that I don't have to drink. A lot of times people, whenever we're scheduling them to come in, have a feeling like this is going to be like jail, that they can't leave if they want to, that we're not a locked facility, it's strictly voluntary. In detox, they are assigned a counselor, and so their counselor has to see them on a daily basis just to assess their motivation and to keep them motivated to stay. A lot of times the withdrawal symptoms are such that people are like, I can't handle it, and they want to leave. We do lots of motivation, lots of encouraging them to, to stick it out. Once they have completed detox and they no longer have um, withdrawal symptoms, we would then transition them into intensive residential treatment nine hours of group counseling every week with their counselor and then we have 10 to 15 hours of psychoeducational is what we call it where we teach on coping skills we teach about the disease of addiction and and how the brain processes drugs and why um, getting off of drugs and alcohol is so hard we teach daily living skills money management um, how to find a job, how to go back to school if you want to. Those are just some of the units that we teach. We also teach a lot of relapse prevention. Um, teaching them about what would trigger you to a relapse. What could you do instead of a relapse? We, we try to prepare the client for any scenario that they might encounter when they leave here. We have yoga on Saturdays. Occasionally we'll take them bowling or we'll take them to the movies as recreation to also introduce to them that you can have fun without drugs and alcohol. Um, we also introduce them to 12-step meetings, AA and uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. So they go to a 12-step meeting every single day of the week. They're able to obtain a sponsor, an AA or NA sponsor, and meet with their sponsor here in the evenings um, to start begin start working and developing that relationship with 12-step members. So here everybody has a, a, an assignment and they have a purpose and um, they develop friendships and, and relationships. I oftentimes tell the clients that you might not have had a college dorm experience, so this is, this is similar to that. But in short, shorter terms, for 30 days, but it's, it's a similar type experience. They oftentimes make lifelong friends here because they're going through the same thing at the same time. Most of the people that we work with have burned all those bridges. They don't have a job, they don't have health insurance, and they certainly don't have a job that can um, afford them a $30,000 or even a, a $5,000 bill. So the state has awarded us those, those funds in order to provide free treatment.